Hello everybody, it's Farm Sim Guy here, hope you're all doing well. Um, another FS22 short here, and it's how to use the automatic robot feeding machine in the largest of all the sheds that you can get in the build menu. So there it is, uh, to find it you go into animals, you go into cows, and it is the farthest to the right. It costs a handsome 722500 uh, but for that you get your own robot so what's not to like so here it is the detail on it is absolutely fantastic these lovely lovely buildings that have come with fs22 the detail of them is absolutely brilliant uh, we've got our first cow in here but you can see them outside we've loaded it up we've maxed the cows out um, and what we're going to do now is we are going to show you how this and you can just see it through the netting there this little robot feeder works so for ease, we have set ourselves up with a trailer um, and we're just going to cheat in a load of feed so we can get things started. But what we'll do is we'll run around here, we'll get this unloaded and we will do the same with straw and hay. So if we jump out quickly, you can see there is the hay, there is the straw and there is the silage. So we're going to load all three of those up and then we're going to see what happens. So there you go straw hay and silage all in and we shall just wait now and see what happens i'm going to speed time up a little bit because we've put all of our constituent parts in that we would need to make tmr so let's just wait and see what happens so i'm going to slow the time down again as you can see we've jumped forward two hours there nothing at all has happened and that's because there is one final piece of the jigsaw we need to add and that is mineral feed that's something new for FS22, but to get uh, the robot machine to work, you need to put this in. So, we've got a few on this forklift here. We're just going to run it over to this point. Automatically loads in, as you can see. There we go. That's filling up nicely. I will leave that there. And that is our fourth ingredient, as you can see it going in at the bottom there. 3,000 litres in there, and now I will speed up time again. And there we go, at 11 o'clock an hour later, the robot machine has kicked in and is starting to work through the feed. So it will gather some stylage first, it will gather some straw, and it will gather some hay. And then it will go and automatically feed the cows. Now what I might do is move this out of the way, because it could well be in the path of the robot. And then we'll see what happens. There we go. It's finished loading up. And now the robot comes out and heads into the shed and feeds the cows. So there you go, it's coming to the end of its feed cycle. It doesn't hold a lot of feed. Now we have got a full shed of cows in here, so I am intrigued to see if it will continue just running of its own accord because there's enough supplies in there for it to last quite a while so we shall see but what it basically does now is it pops itself back into its shed and waits for the next batch of mixing so there we go door is shut and the cows are left with one batch of feed and uh, hopefully more to come so here we are just an hour later and the machine has kicked in again. It has mixed all of the constituent parts and it's heading back off to feed the cows again. So some people have said that they're uh, a little bit disappointed that you cannot now feed cows silage direct and you have to make TMR. Uh, to be honest, uh, as somebody that grew up on a dairy farm, I'm not sure it's a common practice just to feed cows silage without any other additions and nutrients added. Um, it's the best way to maximize the yield and the milk from the cows so that is why it's done the way it's done um, and i think they've probably just aligned it to that so there you go though that's how the automated feeder robot works in the large shed and uh, i hope that was useful so from me for now the farm sim guy thank you very very much for watching i hope that was helpful and i'll see you all again soon bye for now